been a very solid win today against a very seasoned and tough opponent. What are you most pleased about? Um, I'm very pleased with my level today. I think I've worked super hard on staying aggressive, staying tough in those moments. And when someone's hitting it so hard at you, I think I use her pace really well. And a lot of that has been the physicality that I'm putting into my game. And um, yeah, I didn't panic. I mean, even when she was hitting some unbelievable points, uh, I just stayed calm throughout the whole entire thing and uh, played some really good aggressive tennis myself. When, um, how difficult was it for you to maintain your rhythm um, on some of her service games where she was going from double four, foot four, ace? Yeah, I mean, she's one of those players that you can completely see why she's won a slam. I mean, she can go through a hot patch where she's unplayable and then she goes through moments where she misses a couple of balls out of nowhere, which you don't expect. So... Obviously, it's not easy to find rhythm, and I knew that going into the match, but I tried to stay the consistent one, and I think that's what really showed today. And um, I think that's what won me the match, actually. I think just staying the same level the whole time, not going away when she's playing well, and, and also staying there when she's had a couple of tough moments. Um, you're always a player who's very quick to applaud um, your opponent's good shots. How important is that to kind of keeping a positive um, attitude and mentality on court when you're playing against a player, a player like Ostapenko, who sometimes their shots simply are just too good? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I really don't mind playing matches like this. I think if she plays too good, then I have no issue at all. Like, I think for me, I've done everything I can possibly do and she's taken the racket out of my hand. I have no issue with that mm -hmm. because it's it's a positive for me and she's just played too, too well. Mm -hmm. So... You know, obviously, I have to try and stay calm throughout the whole entire thing and um, try and stamp my authority a little bit with the way that I play as well. But it's very difficult. I mean, you don't know what's going to come off of her racket. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, she is an incredible player. And I knew that going into it. There's a reason she has that resume. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, sometimes she hits a great shot too good. Um, on the serve today, you hit 11 aces and I think four aces when you were break point down. Um, how good is that to know that you can rely on the serve when your back is against the wall? Yeah, I think that's actually something that I do really like to rely on, especially on the grass court. So I feel like I know that I can come out with something at a big point mm -hmm. and almost get a quick point to get me back yeah. into, you know, to take the pressure off myself. So I think it's nice to have that comfort feeling and I do trust that shot. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, I've got to keep working on the serve. I've mm -hmm. still got a lot of improvement to do on it, but it does help. It mm -hmm. does kind of put me at ease a little bit. Afterwards, on, on the camera, you wrote the um, first time in Team GB. What's, what's that about? Was that talking about the Olympics? Yeah. Or, yeah, the Olympics. I mean, it's a huge moment for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I did get a phone call in the morning about the Olympics as well, so... There is a little bit more to it, but um, we'll save that for another time. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I'm very excited to go to the Olympics. It's a huge moment for me to be part of Team GB. And I'm already super excited about, you know, even the smallest things, just like the Eurostar. I saw some pictures of it already. And I, I don't know when I've been excited to get on a train before, but I don't know, this gold one, gold Eurostar makes me really excited. So um, yeah, I got a bit trigger happy at the end and put that on the camera. Was it about doubles, maybe, the phone call? Or? Oh, no, I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Yeah. Should you want to tell us? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm I'm pretty much an open book, but I'm smiling and I'm happy, so that's all that matters, right? What did you say to you? You just look so relaxed, that confidence levels going into Wimbledon as well. You must be yeah, I mean, look, I mean, this match today is a non-pressure non match. I'm, I'm going in there playing against a player who's much better than me who can, and again can take the record out of my hand and you know I, I've it's a test it's a challenge it's something that I have to trust the work that I've been putting in and and just go after it and I'm so happy with the way that I did that I was so calm throughout the whole entire thing um and I didn't stress in the big moments which you know is easily done when you're sometimes expected to win matches but um, yeah, I was happy with the way that I did that today. I think it was a really good level from both of us as well, and a really good test for me going into over the next week. The microphone, can I just ask you something off-piste? Have you seen Challengers? Did you like it? Can you relate to it? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I have been asked this before, but yes, I have. Um, I mean, I am a huge fan of Zendaya. I, I think she's incredible. And I think what she did in that movie is also incredible because it's really hard to take up a completely different profession, something that she's not done before, and just make it look so easy to be able to do that, I think is such a skill. And um, I was very impressed with with the level of tennis. I mean, it was uh, it was a pretty cool movie. And the relationship stuff? Oh, I don't know. I don't get involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> I am set in my ways one way, and I'm very happy me and Alex are doing great. <laughs> Thanks.